brand new gun has been added. It's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's called the OHM or the OM. It's available to all of the guys on Xbox that has the season pass. And it will be included within the second map pack that should be coming out very soon for everybody. It's an LMG shotgun hybrid. You can actually switch between both modes by tapping on the D-pad. And if you're getting this weapon because you're a season pass holder on the Xbox, you also get the werewolf version for free as well. So I thought, you know what? I need to use this weapon, obviously. This is actually one of my very first games on the Xbox 360 version. I thought I should just give it a go. I just literally popped into the shops. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy the 360 version and see what it's like. So that's what I'm going to be playing on. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this weapon if you've got it. And let's jump into the gameplay. That is right, my friends. We're playing on the Xbox 360 version. Uh, I literally just decided, I was like, you know what? I wonder, wonder if my stats carry over between Xbox One and 360. Let's just give this a go on old gen and see what it's all about. So here we go. I mean, the game looks and seems to feel pretty much exactly the same. But honestly, it's not the point of the video. We're going to be checking out... No! We're going to be checking out this brand new uh, ohm weapon. Um, it's got the shotgun mode. It's got the sort of LMG heavy weapon mode. The one thing I, I personally am not too keen on is like... Oh, buddy. Oh, oh where is everyone at? Oh, man. The one thing I'm not particularly keen on is the recoil pattern just seems to be all over the place, man. Like, sometimes this thing is like a laser beam, and it just does not move, and it's just melting people. And then the other second... Hold up. And the other second, the, the recoil's everywhere, and I'm like, what the heck? I'm going to pick up this guy. I don't actually have... Um, do not have any um, scavenger perk on, because... It doesn't really need it, to be honest. And one of the great things about his gun is that it, it has a bullet count. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to talk and play, man. All right, it has a bullet count, which um, can go down fairly quickly when you're shooting normally in automatic mode. But if you go into shotgun mode, I believe every shot counts as just one. So you can go ham with this thing in shotgun mode, man. Like, it's it's you if you're on low ammo and you're close to people, don't bother reloading. Just switch to shotgun mode, honestly. Oh, almost got shot in the back there. So it's gonna, it's gonna, you can use up the rest of the ammo fairly effectively that way. Oh man, come on. There we go. There we go. About to say, well, what everyone's doing. Oh boy. We're getting shot from every direction here. What's going on? Please don't kill me. Now, honestly, like, I've seen people say that this gun's like, this gun's amazing. It's the best gun in the game. It's definitely not the best gun in the game. Like, it's good. It's fun. I'd rate it maybe. Maybe mid-tier, maybe just above mid-tier in terms of weapons that are completely available within Advanced Warfare. Wouldn't say it's the best gun in the game. I mean, it's fun. It's fun, I can't lie. Ooh, see, there, there, there. That gun literally did not have much recoil. Thankfully, we've got ourselves a kill streak. Do not shoot me, please. Oh, boy. See, there, I really had to tap fire. Oh. The recoil, though. It's so random. It's my final clip. Oh, man. My... Nah, dude. Oh, it's... <laughs> Ali, you suck. <laughs> that, was, that was absolutely horrible, man. You, you need to have good accuracy if you want to use this gun. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, man. They're off, boys. They're off. Oh, you trying to shoot it down? No, nah, that's right, Warbird. Clear him up. He's trying to mess with you, man. You don't have any of that. Here we go. Let's get this thing back into action. The reload is quite long, actually. The reload definitely not the quickest thing in the world, unfortunately. What another nice little streak here again, I think. Let's go. Wow, dude, that guy disrespecting the warbird. Shooting it down, come on. I thought he should have been in shotgun mode for that too. That's the thing, like, the transition between shotgun and LMG mode, like, it definitely takes... It takes, like, half a second or so, but that's, that's a fairly long time in, in terms of gunfights that can be going down in Call of Duty. I mean, unless you're going to run into a room with the idea of just blasting your shotgun. Let's go. Then, honestly, I just stay in this automatic mode. This one's a lot better, to be honest. Oh, whoa! We were all over the place. <laughs> but the game is over, my friends. Let's be some live gameplay of the brand new Ohm 
LMG shotgun hybrid thing. If you've got it, let me know what you think. If not, as I said, it'll be available in the second map pack. That should be out in probably a few weeks' time or so. I'll keep you guys updated. Final score is 24 and 3. Not too bad at all. I'll probably do a best class set video for this gun very, very soon. So look out for that as well. Because uh, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one to say the least. If you haven't seen any recent videos on screen, check them out. I've been playing the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's 3 on my second channel, which is scary. Um, advanced Supply Drops are also available to purchase now. You can check out more information on that, how much it costs, etc. on screen. And I'm probably going to be un unboxing some of them uh, maybe this weekend in a live stream or something. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. So cheers for watching. You guys are epic. And I'll see you tomorrow on another video.